two. Okay, Dalton. Well, no, I don't really miss working. Every time this music down, it's too loud. I quit. I mean, I'm here. 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 i Make a loan. If I could do that, I'd do that. Yeah, uh, you know, maybe I broadcast the pizza and you can watch me swimming for us. Damn, that's funny. Yeah, that looks like pizza. Huh. Hey, Mama. Oh, hey, sweet cards, wash dishes, roll silverware. Okay, Occasionally, they they put wait tables. Now that's where the money was at. I got wait yeah, tables. That's, that's where the money like was at. Twenty dollars worth of tables. Those are they all? Because it's. Yeah, we got to get 311 likes for 4,000 likes. Okay, you want some, you want some Pizza Hut stories of stuff that I used to do at Pizza Hut? <laughs> this dude used to go to Pizza Hut. Yeah. That's your pizza likes, Chris. Right. Okay. I was a bad boy back in 1995. Oh, guys, it's time for me to tell you this story. I wish that a bill was here. I wish it was here, but he, he's going he's gonna to kick himself for missing the story. Now, watch him show up. Okay? In 1994. Yeah, do that. Okay, in 1994, Ken Dyke was the manager of Pizza. Pizza Hut, and he was an awesome manager. Well, he he they speaking for the ten lights. He became manager in, in April of 1992, and he had long. When he first came, he had long hair. He was he he he, he would not hesitate. He used to cuss and swear like a sailor. Uh, there was these girls, and they didn't show up for work. And assistant manager Marie asked. Uh, Dell Dell wants to know if she's still got a job, and the Ken Dyke said, "Fuck no, you can't have a job if you don't come to work." And then look like this. <laughs> I like, guess it obvious. <laughs> One time we were cleaning the oven, and I uh, he bought twelve uh, cans of oven cleaner, and he's like, "Chris, use some more oven cleaner." I'm like, "I've always used it all. You've used twelve fucking cans of oven, oven cleaner already." Yeah, you, Chris, you got screw. You can't just spray the oven cleaner and press them and the oven magically to the skin. You gotta scrub this shit. You gotta scrub this. Anyway, oh, uh, now they don't clean the pans. <laughs> Back in nineteen ninety two, uh, I walked out in on December sixth, nineteen ninety two, in a rage. But anyways, in nineteen ninety three, he'd let me come in, and he'd let me. Uh, I called myself semi employed. Every Friday, he'd let me eat a free small pepperoni pizza. Any, anytime I wanted it, all I had to do is look at the waiters, waiters, and go. You know what that means? Thanks for the likes. Email seven. And what the rest of them? Up. That means I wanted a seven up. If I did this seven up three, that mean meant I wanted a seven up with three bread sticks. And anyways, I, wait, sometimes you, you remember the video game Street Fighter Two, Dalton? One night we set we set the video game up on Ken's TV. 
to play it and at the at the closing hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had some of that, Chris. But uh, not never, never had it at uh, actually it was going on in the pizza that I know, but it did it. They did catch a, a cook a uh, long for my time in Pano one day, one morning. They did that. I got you. Don't don't wait. What? You think you have some water? Yep. And you, you can imagine he got fired. Rachel Landry? so dumb. I need to comb my hair. This hard. I have to go supervise because you're right back. Okay. Okay, you can have some when I'm gone. No, there's this one time there's this customer being ornery about a sandwich. They wanted a sandwich. And the cook told me the cook told me what he did. We he went he they made him so mad he went he had to go back into the cooler to get uh uh buns. <laughs> he said he wiped his armpit on the bread and brought it out and sir and made their sandwich with that bread he wiped his armpit on. Oh, yeah, uh, leftover pieces tonight, we got to take home, yep. The closers. We had fun when Ken, when Ken was manager there. The last night he was manager there, we had 40 people in the restaurant. Yes, I miss it. We had... And there are probably uh, probably only five five or six of them were actual employees, including the manager. The rest of them were and family members and friends of one of the the, uh, the head cook and his sister the waitress. Yes, that a guy named, named Maurice Park. He he has a, a pizza page on Facebook. Maurice Deanna, Maurice Parker. Look it up, and he 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 was the head cook there. And his sister was a head weight. <laughs> so much for so much for family members not supposed to work in there. My cousin Casey, my cousin Paul, both of them brothers, and I worked there at the same time. They had two twin sisters working there at the same time. Tina and Sheena, two twin sisters working as waitresses. <laughs> so they basically broke every rule in the book. But anyways, getting back to the night. Nope, everyone, they're all gone. Hey, Chris, that was 25 years ago. Anybody still there is hella dedicated. They finally, they finally uh, busted Ken for embezzlement. He was dumb. He failed a lot of lie detector tests, and not realizing that a lie detector test is in this is going court. He confessed. And he had to pay all that money back. He confessed because he got scared. Just because you fail a lie detector test, all that means is that can, they can hound and arrest you and try to get you to confess. But if you don't confess, they ain't got shit on you. They can't, they can't do, they, if they can't find any evidence, they can't do anything to you. Thanks for inviting 436 fans to the broadcast, Chris. Well, anyway, thanks for the lights, Chris. Okay, back to the bar, back to the story. One time in 1992, me and the manager we kind of met each other. Ken, we later became real good friends. But one night, that there was a hole in the wall where the water spigot used to be. Pizza flies. <laughs> I didn't do pizza flies back then. Uh, oh, sometimes we would be we leaving. I take a. Uh, a uh, leftover cup of drinks and throw it uh, across the parking lot on top of the shirt and wheel, wheel and bill next door. <laughs> One day I, I didn't realize that I grabbed up Ken's drink, his Pepsi, and threw it on top. He's like, Chris, that was my effing Pepsi. 
He is not happy. Hey, Pepsi. I like Pepsi. Pepsi. He's not, that's not going to give me a fucking man. Pepsi. Man. But anyways, one night I had found I stuck the hose in the wall one afternoon while I was cleaning trash cans, and one of the waitresses comes up to the manager, Marie. There's a whole bunch of water coming out of the girl's bathroom. I'm like, oh shit, I know why. I went out and took the hose back out of the wall. Cause there's a hole where the faucet used speakers used to be, but where they moved them. One night, at as we after we left, before I left the building. I, I parked on my car on the other side. I went, I stuck the hole in the uh the hose in the ball, hole in the ball and turned it on. Left it on all night. I got a call at seven in the morning. Chris, we need you to get the pizza hut. Somebody put put the holes in the hose in the wall and the, we need to help clean the and that <laughs> and so I went and they suspected that it was me, but they can you know, they didn't uh couldn't prove it. But anyways, when Ken quit, when Ken quit, we got we got this new new manager, Tom Baker. We called him Tom Dick. He he came in with an attitude. He was gonna he was gonna clean out the gang. He came in with a gangbuster attitude. Our kid was all big and bad, middle badass. Well, everybody showed him. Yeah. I remember I was hanging out. I mean I. I, I had become addicted to hanging out at the place. In other words, if I didn't hang out at Pizza uh, almost every night, I would be depressed, feel feel empty. And it, this manager was not going to let us let us do that anymore. I was hanging out one Sunday night. He he saw me. He's like, Chris, do you, hey, do you have a home? I'm like, yes. He's like, you need to spend more time there than here. And he gave me a shitty and grin. I'm like, I walked down the place. I I thought I was like, okay. I got something for your ass. That Thursday night. That Thursday night. No, I didn't punch him. That Thursday night when everybody left. <laughs> I was riding my bike. I, rode, I pulled my bike up behind the to the what what uh pit, uh, pit area. But they did not have water hose. So that meant I would have to go find the water hose. So I had to ride my bike three miles out of the way. I remember having seen one at uh, behind the movie theater. I went in there, wrapped it around my bicycle, went to the pizza up pit area, connected the hose, and put it in the wall and turned it on. And I, I didn't want them. I didn't want them to realize what would happen. So I, I, I was going to come back right before the, uh, the early morning prep came in and take the hose out of the wall and. Uh, Hide it so that they wouldn't they wouldn't know what happened. And so I was riding all back and forth on the road, and finally around a quarter a quarter to five uh, and four thirty, I rode past the pizza hut again, and I saw streams of water coming out the door. I'm like, "Yep, it's not going to get any any more filled with water than it is now." I'm not doing that now. I went to the pit, pit there, just get the hose, turn off the water, right the hose right. The, uh, uh, and, and, and hit the hose nearby uh, uh, Fairfield Park in their, in their pit, pit area and went home. I had, I had ride seven miles home because uh, I live at my cousin's. Anyway, when I came in the next day, assistant manager Deborah White, she was mad and she she suspected it was me, but she couldn't prove it. And <laughs> And that night, and she was talking about somebody flooded the place. And then Tim, he, he was a cook. He came in to eat that night. When assistant manager Marie was there, he, he saw me. He said, like, Chris, come here. He pulled up the seat. Had the seat. I, I got to ask you something, Chris. Do you know anything about this place being being flooded this morning? I'm like, no. I'm like, why? But, but somebody flooded the place.